Greetings CBC and welcome to this week's Sunday warm up. Again, as always, this video is for that purpose for us to come together, prepare ahead of time so I can give you what scriptures that we're going to be looking at this Sunday and give you some space to be able to read them, study them, um, pray about them, mark them in your, in your Bibles. Similar to last week, we're not going to turn to a lot of extra references this week, so really kind of focusing in on one section of scripture, but it gives you an opportunity to really prepare ahead of time and spend some time, uh, again, even preparing notes, preparing your own sermon outline, uh, certainly, like I said, praying uh, about the text ahead of time. I always appreciate your prayers for me and our time together as we hear the Word of God together. Again, always a challenge to consider little things like uh, going to bed uh, early on a Saturday night, waking up early on a Sunday morning, reading the text before you come. Uh, again, I've, I think I've already said it, but marking the passage ahead of time, spending some time this week talking with somebody else from CBC, another uh, another Christian that you know, somebody that um, you share in Bible study with, somebody that you have other kinds of conversations with, but maybe wrap in a conversation about what passage we're going to be looking at this week, Revelation 4 and 5. So for this Sunday, we're going to be looking at Revelation 4 and 5. Let me quickly just kind of talk to you about what we're doing. So this week and next week, uh, I want to share about uh, a bit of the some, some, some individual research study uh, that, that our church or myself have been a part of. This week is sharing and giving some updates and some findings of the, the group that worked together on something called the regulative principle. Seeing in scripture about worship, and, and we worship based on what God regulates. What does God say? What does God uh, call for us in worship? So if we're going to be people who are leading in worship, we're going to be people who are involved in worship in Sunday mornings. Have we studied and looked at every reference in scripture that talks about worship? What does the Bible have to say about worship? Lots of people write books about it. Lots of people have opinions about it, talk about it. Um, but do we do we come to the scriptures first and seek the, the leading of the Lord for how it is that we are called to worship? Um, sadly, I have found that a lot of Christians even would seemingly at least have no interest really in any kind of intense study to see what does God have to say about worship because we already have our mind made up and all sorts of opinions about what we feel and what we like and how we think th things should be. And so this study, 21 of us uh, over three months, read every verse in the entire Bible, uh, split up various sections. And this Sunday, what I'd like to do is just give you some notes uh, from some of the things that we talked about, what what that it is that we found, uh, offer you a summary of, uh, of a particular book in the Bible that um, I think really highlights well what worship is and the pattern and flow for what worship should still be today. And in particular, what is the center uh, of our worship? And the question I would ask is, is God at the center of our worship? That's why I want to go to, for the main text we'll be looking at this week, Revelation chapter 4 and 5. Quick little side note, it's not Revelations, it's Revelation, uh, with, with no S on the end, Revelation chapter 4 and 5. Now, because we're there in 4 and 5, for preparation this week, I would highly encourage reading Revelation 1 to 5, uh, chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in preparation we will certainly make some references to some things that, that we see in Revelation 2 to 3. So it definitely would be good to read Revelation 2 to 3 in preparation. And since we're already reading Revelation 2, 3, 4, and 5, you might as well read uh, chapter 1. So Revelation chapter 1 to 5. There's quite a bit in there to just read slowly, take, take our time in preparation. I will make uh, a couple other references about another particular book and give you a summary of that whole book. For, but for this video right now, uh, in preparation for Sunday, I just want to have us focus on Revelation 1 to 5 in, in that preparation. And so what we'll want to do is come together. I want to share a little bit with what some of the things that we found. And a big part of what we're, we're even currently doing now is seeking for how, how do we define what worship is. And so we want to 
I want to talk about that and I'm going to offer it to you on Sunday as a working definition. We're still working on this definition. I'm still working on this definition. Maybe we'll continue for years just to be working on that. I would encourage you in preparation for this Sunday, jot your own definition of worship down. What does it mean when we say worship, when we worship God? If you want to, uh, bring it on a slip of paper or something, or message me, and I'd love to see it. I'd love to read it. So uh, work on that, uh, of a definition of worship. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about what is it does the, the Scripture regulate for worship? What, is, what does God have to say uh, about worship? Uh, I've read no other books on worship this week. I've read no other you know, current worship leaders and what their opinions on worship are. I just want to get into the Word, and I want to study the Word and see what is it that God has to say to us about worship and i believe the results are fascinating they're absolutely fascinating well i got you here real, real quick let me um i can find the date let me just let you know since we're into february already on wednesday february 22nd yeah i wanted to make sure i had the right date wednesday february the 22nd at six o'clock we are going to, those that are able from the regulative, regulative principle research group, we're going to gather at 6 o'clock from 6 to 7, and we're going to just, just talk about trying to find out how do we define worship. And we've been um, throwing that around a little bit via text. And so for, on Wednesday, February the 22nd at 6 o'clock, we're going to meet for an hour and just discuss. I'd invite anybody to come to that if you want to hear that discussion and as we continue to seek uh, 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 more of a concrete definition of, of worship together. And then at 7 o'clock, if you don't want to come to the 6 to 7, that's fine. At 7 o'clock on Wednesday the 22nd, that's Ash Wednesday, we're going to have an Ash Wednesday service. Now it's going to be a little non-traditional. I'm not going to do the ashes and, and that on the forehead for that. But I, I want to share some things from Scripture, have a time to pray together, and uh, really use that as a, as a season for ourselves as a church and individually to, to prepare our, our hearts and our minds and the, as we journey up through Easter. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of the Lenten season where you journey to the cross and leading up to Easter Sunday. And so uh, Wednesday, February 22nd, from 6 to 7 o'clock, the Regulative Principal Group will be discussing a definition of worship from 6 to 7, and then 7 to 8, we will have a, an Ash Wednesday uh, service together where we focus on some scripture and pray together and preparing ourselves for this upcoming Easter season. That's it. Uh, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging in there today for a little bit longer video. I pray if you made it this far. Uh, prayers for you this week. So looking forward to uh, our Sunday mornings as always. Hope to see you this Sunday in, in uh, worship together and study of the Word of God. God bless you this week.